15 strange and frightening things that only exist in South Africa. Imagine waking up in a country where the locals speak 11 different languages, with three capitals and wild animals freely roaming the streets. Sounds crazy, right? But if you visit South Africa, you'll definitely experience the unbelievable things I just mentioned. Join me on this journey until the end of the video, and I'll show you the strange and frightening things that South Africa is hiding. Number 15. Flat Breasts Setting aside issues of traffic and geography, let's now delve into some peculiar cultural aspects of South Africa. I don't know about you, but in South Africa, having flat women's breasts is considered ideal. To this day, a prevalent practice in South Africa is flattening breasts. According to this tradition, the development of girls' breasts is hindered using tools like iron or heated stones, a stick, or a hammer heated on hot coals pressed onto their chests. This extremely painful practice is mostly carried out by mothers on girls aged 11 to 15, regardless of the potential physical and psychological consequences, including scars on the chest or conditions like cysts, deformed breasts, and inverted nipples that may prevent breastfeeding. The reason behind persisting with this practice is the belief that having flat breasts helps girls maintain a childlike appearance for a longer time. Having breasts is seen as undesirable, as it is believed to attract unwanted attention from men, leading to violation, harassment and unplanned pregnancies. As girls, in turn, believe that what their mothers do is right for their own benefit, so they choose to remain silent and endure. Silence, however, equals concealment and encouragement for such actions to continue, and thus, this tradition persists without an endpoint. Despite the agonizing nature of subjecting their daughters to such practices, mothers persevere, wanting their daughters to prolong their time in education rather than have others look at them and notice signs indicating they are ready for marriage. Currently, this breast flattening practice is strongly condemned as one of the forms of violence against women, which is often concealed and kept secret between mothers and daughters. Even in wealthier families, they might opt for a gentler approach using a flexible plastic belt to tightly cinch their daughter's chests, preventing breast development and hiding their growth from the eyes of men. Number 14. Celebrating Christmas in Summer In different regions, people have various elaborate or simple ways to celebrate Christmas. While in countries like England and France, the image of a luxurious, festive Christmas party is familiar to us, a simple and cozy Christmas in African countries, considered to have the world's poorest economies, can bring many interesting experiences. In South Africa, Christmas Day often starts early with the sounds of gospel groups traversing many streets and villages. Famous Christmas hymns wake people up to attend church prayers before returning home to prepare for family gatherings with roast turkey, grilled beef or pork, golden rice with raisins, vegetables, and plum pudding or crackers. Christmas in South Africa takes place in summer, without snow but with vibrant flowers everywhere. Instead of a Christmas tree, people use palm trees, as in the coastal West African country of Liberia. The most important part of the Christmas prayer in Africa is the exchange of affection, usually in the form of a gift to express reverence to God. Around 8 to 9 in the morning, people participate in the Christmas Day celebration. Anyone attending the prayer service brings a gift and places it near the Holy Communion table. No one attends this ceremony without bringing a gift. Christmas is an occasion for people to express love, share affection not only with loved ones but also as an opportunity to share with those who are struggling and disadvantaged in life. So don't hesitate to lend a helping hand to those around you because when you give love, you receive a lot of joy in return. Number 13. Diamond Kingdom If you want to get rich quickly, the best piece of land for you to do that is in South Africa. South Africa is renowned for its abundant mineral resources, currently holding the record for the discovery of the world's largest raw diamond, the Cullinan, found in 1905 in the mining town of Cullinan. In 2021, the country experienced a diamond mining frenzy. Thousands of people in South Africa flocked to the area near the village of Kualathi, about 300 kilometers southeast of Johannesburg, hoping to unearth diamonds to change their lives. From dawn, many people, including both men and women, used shovels and hoes to dig, even using their hands to excavate. 
Many of them found numerous unidentified stones and piled them into small heaps. Not only diamonds, but this country also has various other rare mineral resources. The Republic of South Africa extracts nearly half of the world's annual gold production, totaling 1,150 tons. Of this, 645 tons are used for jewelry, 104 tons in the electronics industry, 107 tons in various engineering sectors, 210 tons for coins and gifts, and the remaining 189 tons are used for investment and storage in various financial markets. South Africa also produces 23% of the world's annual uranium output, a key raw material in the nuclear industry. Two other strategic raw materials are chrome and manganese, with the Republic of South Africa leading with 36% of the total chrome production and 33% of the world's annual manganese production. These are essential components that enhance the strength of steel. With its vast mineral resources, South Africa is undoubtedly one of the wealthiest countries on the African continent. Number 12. Wildlife Paradise While the country covers only 1% of Earth's surface, South Africa proudly boasts 10% of the world's bird, fish and plant species, as well as 6% of reptile and mammal species. Lions, elephants and giraffes may not roam the streets of the city, but nature and wildlife are never too far away in South Africa. From vervet monkeys swinging across tree-lined suburban streets to chakma baboons frolicking around Cape Point and seals visiting Hout Bay to find a light snack, a variety of bird species taking to the skies at any given time wildlife is all around. The coastal region surrounding the 2,500-kilometer coastline is teeming with life. You'll find great white sharks, penguins, dolphins and more in South Africa's oceans. In Hermanus, in the Western Cape, you can spot hundreds of whales from June to November. Simons Town, another coastal town in the Western Cape, is home to Boulders Beach, where you can swim with African penguins. Number 11. Unique Wedding Ceremonies Weddings in South Africa are among the most bewildering events for tourists, as they cannot comprehend why the people in this country have such peculiar rituals. In Namibia, before the wedding ceremony, the Himba groom and some members of the groom's family will kidnap the bride and dress her in a wedding outfit made of leather. When the bride arrives at the groom's new home, his relatives instruct her about the responsibilities of being a wife and express family approval by smearing her with a mixture of fat and milk. For the Endibel people, weddings involve three steps, and the final step may take several years. The first step is negotiating the bride price with the bride's family, and this dowry is gradually paid in money and livestock. The second step involves the bride staying separately for two weeks, during which another woman teaches her how to be a good wife. The third step is the wedding ceremony, which only takes place when the bride gives birth to her first child. The common thread in these weddings is their complexity and uniqueness, reflecting an interesting cultural aspect that South Africans continue to preserve. Number 10. Unusual Dishes South African cuisine is an excellent blend of Malaysian and Dutch culinary cultures. While common ingredients in South African dishes include meat, they also have a unique dish used during festive occasions called braai or barbecue. Some famous dishes in South Africa include borwurst, a traditional handmade sausage, biltong dried meat, babotia Malaysian style curry, mealy meal maize porridge, and water blomachy brady lamb stew cooked with water lilies. Exploring the culinary culture of South Africa, visitors can find traditional food in any restaurant as they are widespread, even with many establishments owned by non native locals. When in South Africa, don't forget to enjoy the delicious seafood. A notable point is that crayfish is both affordable and nutritious in this region. Number 9. Always misunderstood. Many tourists to South Africa have misconceptions about the country, thinking it doesn't experience snow or winter. However, winter does occur in South Africa, lasting from May to August. Before traveling to South Africa, it's important to monitor the weather. Additionally, visitors should note that the weather conditions in South Africa are opposite to those in the Northern Hemisphere. The country's vast area results in distinct climates, 
with Cape Town being damp during winter, Johannesburg having summer storms, and the Karoo region experiencing harsh winter days. Wildlife does not roam freely as commonly believed. You won't witness lions casually strolling down the streets or elephants freely roaming. These animals are preserved in specific reserves. To explore the country's natural wildlife, visitors should visit nature reserves across the nation. Furthermore, the perception of uncontrolled hunting of wild animals is inaccurate. Hunting is a survival method for communities in remote areas of South Africa, focusing on small, non-endangered animals. Moreover, South Africa has strict policies for the conservation of wildlife nationwide. Number 8. Dangerous Traffic Laws Unlike advanced countries, South Africa has a rudimentary traffic control system. However, its traffic laws permit drivers to consume alcohol with a blood alcohol concentration not exceeding 0.5 milliliters more than twice the average limit in other countries. Additionally, traffic signs and fines in South Africa are peculiar. At intersections without traffic signal systems, the traffic law is simple all vehicles must stop at the stop line, and the vehicle that arrives first at the intersection has the right of way. The speed limit within the city is 60 km per hour, 100 km per hour outside urban areas, and 120 km per hour on highways. Violating these limits and being caught could result in shockingly high fines. Despite its poverty and outdated infrastructure, the road conditions in South Africa are generally good, except in some remote areas like northern KwaZulu-Natal. Moreover, South Africa has a strong and well-developed automobile association that provides roadside assistance with a hotline. European Automobile Association members can also use this service with their membership cards. However, this association receives very few calls from drivers, likely due to the excessively high service fees compared to the general market. Number 7. 11 Official Languages It's hard to believe that in the country we often associate with the black population, there are many white, colored, and Asian people, and what's even more remarkable is that there are 11 official languages spoken in South Africa. Indeed, South Africa has 11 different official languages, with English being one of the main languages. When traveling to South Africa, you can comfortably use English. In addition, there are nine other official languages that exist and are used, although not as widespread. Black urban residents usually use English or South African Dutch Afrikaans besides their mother tongue. A small group uses Khoisan languages, one of the eight unofficial languages that are noteworthy. The Khoisan language family is in danger as it is not officially recognized, although some language groups within South Africa are trying to promote the use of the language to preserve its cultural diversity. Number 6. The world's longest wine route. Not European countries like France, England or Italy, but South Africa is known as the land of wine. In the Cape Winelands region, you will discover the beautiful towns of Franchoic, Stellenbosch and Paal. This area is where many award-winning wineries produce various types of wines with excellent flavors year after year. The wine country of South Africa is home to more than 500 wineries. While exploring these endless vineyards, remember to taste Pinotage, the characteristic grape variety of South Africa. South Africa also boasts the world's longest wine route, Route 62. It stretches an impressive 850 kilometers with countless fantastic wineries on both sides of the road. Suburban areas like Durbanville and Constantia are even closer to the city center and have many exceptional wineries. Once you drive through the vineyards on both sides of the road, it will be an experience that I believe you will never forget. Number five, two Nobel laureates living on the same street. Having one Nobel laureate in a country is already a remarkable achievement. However, in South Africa, it is unbelievable that they have two Nobel laureates, and the strange thing is that these two people live on the same street. A tour through Sotowoto will always stop at Vilakazi Street to explore some significant landmarks for South African democracy. Both Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu lived here at some point in their lives. In 1984, Archbishop Desmond Tutu received the Nobel Peace Prize to recognize his efforts in non-violent struggle against the apartheid regime. Nine years later in 1993, 
Nelson Mandela shared the Nobel Peace Prize with then-President F.W. de Klerk as an award for their roles in bringing peace to the end of apartheid. Nelson Mandela then went on to become South Africa's first democratically elected president in 1994. Mandela's house on Vilakazi Street is now a museum. Number 4. The oldest mountain in the world. You might know Mount Everest as the tallest mountain in the world, but do you know which one is considered the oldest and still exists? If not, let's head to South Africa, as this country is home to such a mountain. Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa, is believed to be one of the oldest mountains on Earth. It is famous for its distinctive flat top, resembling a large table, hence the name Table Mountain. Table Mountain was formed around 260 million years ago and is part of the Cape Fold Belt Mountain Range, a range that originated from ancient geological movements. Table Mountain is not only a cultural and tourist icon in Cape Town but also a UNESCO-recognized global natural heritage. With its pristine beauty and diverse plant and animal life, Table Mountain is a popular destination for activities such as hiking, trekking, and nature exploration. From the summit of Table Mountain, visitors can enjoy breathtaking views of Cape Town and Table Bay. Number 3. The Cradle of Humankind. Africa is considered the cradle of human culture, and South Africa, in particular, is often referred to as the cradle of humanity. Some of the earliest evidence of human evolution has been excavated at hominid fossil sites northwest of Johannesburg in Stokfontein Cave. Archaeologists have discovered human skeletons here, some dating back over two million years. These discoveries have given this region the title Cradle of Humankind, recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The natural fossil history and human history of South Africa date back hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. The initial dinosaur fossils were discovered in Western Cape, and up to 80% of mammal fossils found to date are located in Karoo. You can visit hominid fossil exhibition areas to learn more about the origins of our planet at the Maropeng Visitor Center in Sterkfontein Cave. Number 2. Three capitals. Most countries in the world have at least one capital, a place considered the administrative center of the nation. Some countries, however, choose two cities as capitals, and even more remarkably, there is a country with three capitals, and that country is South Africa. Currently, the country has three capitals, Pretoria, the administrative capital, Cape Town, the legislative capital, and Bloemfontein, the judicial capital. This unique arrangement distributes power among different regions. Pretoria, the administrative capital, serves as the primary government hub, housing the headquarters of many government agencies and foreign embassies. It is also the largest cultural center in South Africa, covering an area of 1,644 square kilometers, with a population of about 2.35 million. The administrative capital Pretoria took its name from Andries Pretorius, a respected European descendant figure who, ironically, played a pivotal role in the establishment of apartheid. To address this historical context in 2005, the capital was officially renamed Tshwine. Cape Town, the legislative capital, is where the Parliament of South Africa is located, along with several other crucial government institutions. It is also the second most populous city in South Africa. Cape Town is renowned for its vibrant natural landscapes, beautiful harbors, and a large seaport along the Atlantic Ocean. The city is also home to the historic Table Mountain and the renowned Cape of Good Hope, considered one of the wonders of the world. On the other hand, Blonfontein, the judicial capital, boasts the highest population density in the country. This city is rated as the most livable place in South Africa, with a low crime rate and excellent living conditions. Bloemfontein is often referred to as the Fountain of Roses or the City of Roses due to its unique architecture, featuring vibrant rose gardens and numerous modern industrial facilities. This separation of government functions helps balance power and distribute responsibilities across the country, creating one of the most complex and unique political systems globally. Number 1. A Country Inside a Country you may have heard a lot about Vatican City in Monaco, but perhaps few know that South Africa also has another country within its borders, the Kingdom of Lesotho. The Kingdom of Lesotho is an independent nation entirely surrounded by the territory of South Africa. 
especially within the Drakensberg Mountains region. This creates one of the most unique cases in the world regarding the geographical location of a country. Lesotho is often referred to as the landlocked kingdom due to its lack of coastline. The kingdom of Lesotho has an area of about 30,000 square kilometers and is the country with the highest average elevation globally, with over 80% of its territory above 1,800 meters above sea level. This results in a cold and dry climate with long and icy winters. The Kingdom of Lesotho has a unique culture and history, preserving many traditions and customs of the Sotho people, their main ethnic group. Lesotho's economy is primarily based on agriculture and natural resources, especially minerals and water. If given the chance, try visiting this kingdom in the sky to experience the wonderful things it has to offer. From the oldest mountains in the world to mysterious stories about supernatural forces, South Africa is a land of continuous uniqueness and wonders. We have seen the diversity in landscapes, cultures and histories, all telling an exceptionally remarkable story.